Now, with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So we've had some rain recently, and it looks like tonight we were getting some rain in some areas. Yeah, we, we had some, you know, the last two hours. Carlsbad got in a good shower, but if you look at the radar behind us, nothing out there right now. In fact, just seeing the radar sweep around, also picking up on some wind farms out there. You can see those on the loop as you see the last little gasp of rain that moved through there around Eden. Also had some stuff near Carlsbad, but now you're just picking up these wind farms here southwest of Eden and also to the north west of Brady there. Sometimes that happens, especially when we get a lot of sinking air in the atmosphere, and that happens on the back side of these systems, and that's why you're seeing a lot of this rain just really fall apart as dry air works on end. But take a look at the radar replay, and you'll see what rolled through last night and through the day today. Had some really heavy showers move through, oh, around 11, 12 o'clock, 1 and 2 in the morning in San Angelo, and then kind of camped out there near Tennyson this morning as well. Some very heavy rain up there towards Silver, where it actually caused some flooding along the Colorado River. You can see those heavier totals today have been up in northern Sterling, northern Coke County, also Runnels and Concho County and Menard County. Otherwise, haven't gotten much here in San Angelo. But compare that to what we've seen the last five days or so. These are the rain totals since Wednesday. Two to three inches widespread with isolated pockets of five inches. 2.78 there in Sterling City, 3.2 near Robert Lee. Actually had someone call in with 11 inches there near Tennyson off to the uh, south of Bront. 2.07 there near the Norton community, 6.66 in Eden, 5.73 also, 3.15 there in Brady, 4.5 inches, 5, 6 inches in some spots there near Cleo in northern Kimball County, and then chances or totals weather backed off a little bit as you went off to the west. Here in the city, it ranged from 7 inches to just a tenth of an inch there near O.C. Fisher. So pretty widespread rainfall totals, but at least we got the rain. And this is what you called into our station. Brad Reed, Tennyson, picking up that 11 inches of rain with five of it coming just today. Bonnie near Eden picking up 8.9. Tyler near Menard, 7.5. Maryland and Oak Creek, 4.8. And the totals just kept rolling on in. 4.6 from Reed, 4.2. Clyden and Cristobal, Lori and South San Angelo, 4 inches. And Tyler in Hext, 2 inches. So where does that put us right now? We were even below our January through July normal. Now we're back above our year-to-date normal, and we're running a surplus at Mathis Field about an inch above normal. Good news there. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of hot air on the way, so that means we may start to see that kind of surplus really start to shrink a little bit. Hopefully we don't get into another deficit. There's how the night ended with really clear skies moving in currently. Also very humid. It's the last gasp of rain chances. We're heating back up above normal. Yeah, it's still summer. Still got to deal with that. But at least we have nice temperatures right now. 77 in San Angelo, 70 in Bront. Those dew points in the 60s and the 70s. This is very humid air out there. So with those winds dying off a little bit, it wouldn't surprise me if we see some patchy fog overnight tonight. You can see those rain showers stretching from the Mexican border all the way up towards Oklahoma. Got a stationary front to the north, not really causing any issues for us. This is our storm system that brought us all the rain. You see it really twisting around. Look at all that dry air on the back side of it. As that lifts off to the north, all of that dry air comes spilling into our area. That means these clouds start to decrease. You'll see how that plays out on future casts with temperatures tomorrow climbing up into the low 90s. I can't rule out a shower, but I don't think it happens tomorrow. And then Wednesday, we're starting off the day in the 70s and climbing back up into the mid 90s. And that's just the start of the heat up that's coming in as we towards the, headed towards the end of the week. Tonight, down 70, 40% chance of some leftover showers. We're pretty much done now. Decreasing clouds as we go through the night. Tuesday, a high of 92 of partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the south at five to, or, uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Going to be a very breezy day there on Tuesday. 95 Wednesday. We're at 97 Thursday and 98 Friday and Saturday. We are watching the potential, though, for maybe a weak cold front coming in Sunday through Monday. That will increase the clouds and knock us back down into the mid-90s. But, hey, this rain was good while we got it. it was so wonderful. was the cooler air. Yeah, it's summer. Still got to go back to that heat, but yeah. good news on the rain front there because we really, really needed it. We really did, and hopefully we get it again soon, but I, like you said, for now it's summer. Just got to stick with the heat. Well, we got fall coming up. We yeah, usually get that's a pretty good, good, to look good forward to. burst of rain in fall. Right. All right. Thanks, Josh. And coming up later in the show, a new report shows how Google could track your movement.